Hello beautiful, welcome back to Raising Our Alliance. If you're new here, my name is Doris and we are a family of six that homeschool, convert a school bus into a tiny house we live in, plant-based, and we love to be minimalistic as possible. Today's video is gonna be about the McGuffey readers and looking through the original versus the revised. When I was shopping for these, I didn't know which one to get. I didn't know if I get an original or the revised or what the difference was between these two. So I ended up getting the cheaper one I could find, which was the revised. And a couple years later, I was lucky enough to get a copy, a whole set of the original. My oldest daughter is 13 and she loved to read. Uh, my sister taught how to read because she was in homeschool at an early age. But my sister taught how to read and she loved to read. That's how we punish her. We take books away from her to make her listen. She don't care if you take her phone away or anything else. But if so I'm going to take a book away, she start listening. So I wanted to foster that love of reading to my younger kids. And when it was time to teach them how to read, when my oldest, my middle child, who's seven right now, when she's kindergarten, and we started teaching her the alphabet, and it was time for her to learn how to read, she did not want to learn how to read. She did everything she fought. And everything can think about to just make it was just miserable so we decided to just wait until she was ready because I did not want her to have her have a bad experience with learning how to read I didn't want her to hit reading so we decided to wait and when it came to first school we tried again and nothing so we just focus on math and on the subjects and play and stuff like that we are shot at missing homeschooler and this year is our first year using Ampleside online for all my kids and she's in year two when this school year started, she was just ready to learn how to read. Especially with all the books that Ampleside Online provides, she just wanted to read the story by herself, but she didn't know how to read. So now it was the time to teach her how to read. So I went and grabbed my McGuffey Reader and my Alfred Fawness to teach her how to read. And I grabbed the original. I actually forgot I had to revise. So I grabbed the original and I have been using it to teach her how to read. And it has been going great. I just love the McGuffey Reader and the Alpha Phonics teaching how to read is less stuff to deal with. It's just two books, and it's me and her and these two books back and forth. There's no extra little pieces or extra little toys that I have to use to teach how to read, and I just love that. And this is the one of the reason I love using Ampleside Online because they don't have unnecessary stuff. So these are the books. Um, these are the uh, revised, and these are the original. Um, and I'm gonna start with a primer So this is the original and this is the primer just by looking at it right off the bat You can tell that the original is longer and is a little bit wider than the revised And then we flip it around The revised is smaller and the revised is thinner than the original We are gonna open this up and see the difference. So this is the region I'm gonna open it first and when you open it up I'm sorry about the artwork. <laughs> like I said, my daughter was not ready to learn how to read. So when you open it up, this is the original. That's the first page. And then it just go through. I'm going to stop at lesson one. And then I'm going to go to the revise. So you can see it to lesson one too. Okay, so this is lesson one for the original. And now we're going to look at the revise. When you open it up, the revise is a little hard to open. When you open it and you let go, it closed by itself. Where the original, it just lay flat. Maybe because it's very old. Maybe that's why. But when you open it up, and this is the first lesson for the revise both of these are way different so the revised the lesson is on one page is have a small print and at the beginning of it it have the sounds and the words that the kids learn before they read the story where this lesson lesson one in original it just has one word on a page and a picture and repeat and it has multiple pages so this is also lesson one and then you get to lesson two up here and it repeat the same as lesson two multiple pages and then go to lesson three and it just repeat the words that it learned from lesson one lesson two comes to lesson three and then we come to lesson four that's when you actually started seeing uh, words for the kids to read where the revise 
it right off the bat started with sounds and actual words and they have sentence in there for the kids to read and this is lesson one and the next page is lesson two it still have the black and white pictures but they have less pages and more words on it for each lesson so that lesson two and this is lesson three and then lesson four in original I'm gonna put that there. So in a region, it has the lesson. So the kids read, the child or the student will read a little story. And then at the bottom of it, it have words. And this seems like it's set up like a spelling words for the kids to learn how to spell. Where in the revised, it's, it's set up as in a learning words for them to learn before they start reading the story. So basically, I feel like the revised is prepping them for them to learn to be able to, for them to be capable of reading a story where the original, it just have, oh, you're going to figure this out, read the story. Then you need to learn how to spell these out. Kind of feel to it. I do love the original have a big fun um, than the revised because it's very small to me. I do like big fun. So that's a personal preference. But I do also love how the reverse have the sounds and it have the words before the story that way they can learn and build and confident before they actually read the story than having it backwards so i do love that about that the only difference between the original and the revised is on on from run of the body introduced cursive to the kids where the original if you go through the whole book there is no cursive in here in the uh the primer at all there's no cursor in there, just print, and they learn how to print. It's not introduced to them at all in a primer. So that is the only difference right off the bat between the revised and the primer. So now we're going to go through, we're just going to flip, we are just going to flip through the rest of the pages, and this is the revised. I'm going to go through it, then we're going to flip through the original. So as you can see, the revised, it just have a picture, one page, and it has a story. And they have cursive throughout. I introduce it to introduce the cursive to the kids. That way, you know, it can start being normalized to them. That that is something they are going to learn later on. And then just go through. I do love how the revise is set up. I just don't like that the font is very small. The only thing I noticed between the original and the um, the revised, I feel like the revised focus more on phonics than the original. The original just kind of feel like um, it's sat learning. You look at the words you're remembering while the reverse is using phonics um, kind of way of teaching kids to read. But then at the back of the revised, they have an exercise for the kids to use to um, to learn how to write cursive in the back and have um, two, three pages of that. So that's the revise. And then this is the original. Just going to flip through and you can see. And then that is the end of the primer book. The only difference I noticed between the original and revised is that the original, even though it's thicker and throughout the whole series, the original book are thicker, are thicker than the revised, that the revised have more lesson in it. And I think the reason is because they do one page, they do one page per lesson while the revised have um, lessons on multiple pages. So this is the original right here. This is the last, um, the last lesson in here. Okay, this is the last lesson in the original. But then, and in the revise, right here, this is that same lesson number in the revise versus the original where that's the last lesson in the book. This have more lesson in there because this is the lesson number from the original and then we look through, there's more of these in there. So, even though... The original is thicker and it's more expensive. The revised that is way slender, it has more lesson and it's way cheaper. So that's something you may want to consider when you're shopping. If you want more lesson in it, more pages, and more cheaper. On a different between the revised and original is that in the set of the original, I do have a pictorial um, part in there 
a pictorial book in there that the revised does not. The revised go straight to the uh, first reader where the original have a pictorial in them, then it goes to the first reader. And the only reason I know that it goes after the primer is because the original comes with the teacher parent guide. And when I looked through, because I was confused as to where this fit in, and that's when I figured it out. And because it's right on the front of it, and then they, they have an explanation in here that explain that it goes after the primer. Where the revised doesn't have that, or maybe I just didn't buy that, or maybe I just didn't buy that with the um, the revised, but I couldn't find that online. So that may be something different also. So then when you look at it, I'm just going to look at this, the revised um, reader one, and this is the original um, reader one. And you can see it's bigger. The original is bigger and then they are revised and it has less lesson in it than the... Um, they revise so this is the original and this is the revise and then this is how much extra lesson is in there so this is the second book and as you can see the original it is bigger and longer but in this um, part, the original does have more lesson in it than the revised. This is the amount of lesson that the revised have, where this is the amount of lesson that, if I can find it, the original have. So the original in this part have more lesson than the revised. Year four, I don't have the revised on there for year four. If all I do have is the original, but I'm going to assume that it will be thinner and um, that will be thinner and shorter than the original just based on uh, the previous book. And then this is the fifth and sixth for the revised. So for the original, it just stopped at the fourth. Unless I missed something, but I didn't see anything online that it go to the fifth and the sixth. So if you do get original, the last book will be will be the fourth. While while the revised go all the way to the fifth and the sixth. So based on these little conclusion, I recommend getting the revised if you are planning on teaching with phonics for your kids to learn how to read phonics. I recommend doing the revised if you don't have a lot of space to store bulky book i recommend it revise and uh, and if you just like to save money i recommend it revise and the only thing is the revise does have a lot of help online from homeschooler they create a lot of worksheet if you use worksheet i don't use worksheet so that don't apply to me but if you do plan on using worksheet you might consider getting the revise because there are a lot of help out there and worksheet for the revise i have not found any for the original yet so i don't know i may be wrong if you did find any please put a link down below and comment down below about it but i haven't i have seen a lot of um worksheet and help on the revise so that's something you may want to consider the other thing is when i have the i got original set it did comes with a lot of extra books that i haven't seen for the revise yet and if i'm wrong please comment down below i'm not always going to be right if I'm wrong, I want you to let me know. So this is the extra book that came with the original. It has the parent teacher guide, which this is amazing, y'all. So it, it explains everything. So if you are going to get original, make sure you get the teacher parent guide because you're not going to see a lot of help online. But this right here is your help. Explain how to teach it, how to teach your kids, and just read this. Okay, just this is the uh, content that I have in here. Lord Jesus, I'm messing my book up. So this is the content of the book. And it just explains everything in there. So I recommend if you are getting original to you, for you to try to at least find a parent teacher guide. So I have that in there. And the next thing I have on there is my grammar and composition in here. I have not used this yet. So I don't know how to explain it well. I'm just going to show you a little flip through so you can see 
but they do, this is for the elementary year and I just love how it goes straight to the point very explanatory no extra prep work is needed and then next thing on here is the spelling um, book in there I haven't used this either because my 13 year old don't need this she's already have that for something else I'm going to use this for my let me start from this side I'm gonna use this for my seven year old who's year two my year one and then whenever my two year old son start learning how to read and spell so I haven't used this yet but as you can see how it's set up it just goes to the point very simple black and white kind of book which I love and the next thing that I have is the grammar, um, revised English grammar. I was confused if it goes for these, but it does go for the original. It would just add some model day. This just adds some model day fixes on the um, the book when they're printing it in that time period. It's not that model, y'all, because this was copyrighted in the 1800s, I think. Yeah, so this is copyright in 1878. So this is not that modern, but when they were reprinting this, they decided to put some modern day um, stuff in here. So I think that is why it's revised, not because of this edition. So this is just what it looked like in here. The copy I have of the book so I'm just going to show you a little quick um, flip through of how I have been teaching my seven year old to read with um, the McGuffey book and what she has been doing with it um, she has this travel to notebook that me and her made this is our handcraft project um, as you can see with this tissue is all handmade and it's not as pretty but she loved this it's not perfect but it was a labor of love so she have a little planner in here that she really don't use and then she have this book in here that she used with the um, McGuffey um, reader so right now she's on primer and let me just grab the book it's all the way on the bottom so what she does um, she read she does her alphaphonic she started with the alphaphonic and when she was on a certain amount of lesson I added this in there so what she do is she comes and open the book and whatever lesson she's reading for that day, she just read it, read it to me, and if she need help, we sign it out, and then she's done with the lesson. And then I also use this for copy work. So we have the notebook in here her sister gave her, and all I did was just put lines in there. And then for that lesson that she do, she does, um, as you can see, a lot of pages are missing. For whatever lesson she just read, she would just uh, write in here for her copy work and she would just write it down and we are just working on her copy work. It's not ready for her to learn how to spell, but she is getting that in there. Every time she write it down, she's saying it loud and it's helping her. Um, it's helping her how to spell those words. But with this book, this travel notebook is basically just focused on copywriting and her handwriting. So that is what she do up here for that. That is how I have been teaching her that is how we have been using the McGuffey Reader along with the Alphaphonics. And I like it this way. I don't have to get extra book for her to do her copy work in. And it's helping her with spelling as well. Later on, we do start doing spelling. So that's what she have in here. And the next thing, she just have her art book in here. And she can put three most book in as well. So this is how I have been using um, my McGuffey Reader. If you do have any suggestion as to how I can better use it, um, for her and my kids, please let me know. I am learning. I'm still learning. I'm still researching. But right now, this is what is working for her. This is what is working for my family. And this is the information I have. So, thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And have a blessed day, y'all.